Hey, OGMers, we have a workshop coming up uh, progressively through October 29th and maybe a little bit afterward. Uh, this is a document created by Matt Saia and his crew at Collective Next, uh, who are basically uh, core crew at OGM, uh, for designing this workshop. And I'm going to talk through it as part of inviting you to participate. Uh, and we presented this briefly in this Thursday's Rex call. So on Thursday, October 15th, we talked it through. And if you want to listen to that conversation and watch uh, Matt talk about it, go to that recording. But here, um, partly I'm going to talk about what, uh, what we'd like to do coming up. Because we're, we're aiming to create some deliverables like these uh, to figure out why we exist, what we stand for. And to do that, we'd like first to send everybody off to create individual perspectives. And by the way, if you want to team up with somebody who seems to have a really close perspective to yours and do these together, you will actually be making a shortcut through the work because part of what we're trying to do is synthesize the perspectives into something larger. So this does not have to be one person per perspective. And then what we would love for people to do is uh, make a short video, just maybe five minutes, make a short post, a short essay, no more than 2,000 words, or be prepared to show up for uh, the meetings as will be described in the schedule here to pitch for five minutes only uh, your perspective on what is sort of the future state of OGM. And we're calling this whole thing OGM 2025 because the idea is uh, imagine it's, the, it's we're, you know life five years from now and OGM has been a success. What made it a success? So we're going to use the Thursday calls to actually um, break into subgroups and listen to each other's perspectives and reflect on them. The pre-work assignment is here and I, I will send you a link to this document along with this video so you'll be able to go through it and read it and, and look at it. And we've set up here a bunch of catalytic questions. These are not questions every presentation needs to address. These are merely thought-provoking questions. And each of us has a different piece of OGM that we find attractive. So part of what we're trying to figure out is uh, which of those parts are you attracted to and what do you wish they would be? How should we organize those so that they work best? Uh, on the 29th for the full session, we actually would like to have people RSVP. So we're going to send out an Eventbrite invite. And it's five hours long. We'd like people to, to, to promise to be there for the five hours. Um, so it's going to be a full work day. Uh, everything we do until then will be included in. So if you want to have your opinion heard, then show up at the, at the meetings before, create some media so we can put that into the mix. Uh, and we will, we will sit down and try to synthesize those perspectives uh, on the day of. Um, we're, we're trying to be a little meta about this day, this process, because we're trying to figure out how to create a process, and, and Pete Kaminsky said this very nicely, uh, maybe we're OGMing rather than trying to paint what is OGM as a static thing. George Poor also said that our goals and our practices will probably emerge over time, they'll be emergent. Um, so here we're trying uh, in this workshop and this work together, we're trying to figure out what does this look like and how to put some structure around it so we know when we're working that we're working in the way we want to do and that we're providing the particular kind of value that OGM can bring to other communities, for example. So on the 29th, we'll have uh, this agenda down here and we're hoping that we end with not all these questions answered and a perfect uh, map of all these deliverables, but a pretty good stab at it. And one of the things we're trying to do between now and the 29th is to start doing some of this work and to put up a straw, a straw person uh, to figure out what this might look like. So this is consider this your invitation to join us. Uh, this is the work we have through the end of the month, through a couple days before the election in the US. So um, while we are all on tenterhooks, we'll at least have something exciting to work on. Thanks very much, and I hope you'll join us uh, in whatever way works for you. Appreciate your being here very much.